In this lab, we are building and examining our own thermometers to understand that there is a relationship between the movement of the liquid with expansion and contraction. Most matter expands when it's heated and contracts when it's cooled. All we need to construct a simple yet functional thermometer are a piece of plastic tubing mounted in a stopper, a test tube, colored water, permanent marker, and a metric ruler. We will also need hot and cold water baths to calibrate our thermometer. Let's assemble our liquid thermometer by first pouring colored water into the test tube. Let's next mount the stopper into the test tube and place it in the cold water bath and let it stand for five minutes. After five minutes have passed and without removing the test tube from the water, make a mark on the plastic tubing at the water level. Find what temperature this is using the lab thermometer. Now place the test tube end of your thermometer in the hot water bath and let it stand for five minutes. Find what temperature this is using the lab thermometer again and calculate the difference between the two measurements. After five minutes has passed, mark the tubing and record the temperature as before. As you can see, the liquid has slowly made its way to the top of the plastic tubing. This reaction is telling us that the thermometer successfully responds to temperature changes. Heat makes the volume of water rise or expand, therefore making it less dense as the molecules spread out. You will notice that the moment we take the liquid thermometer out of the hot water bath, the liquid inside the test tube cools. The volume of water decreases or contracts, making it more dense as the molecules become closely packed together. If we decrease the size of the thermometer bulb, we can expect our thermometer to have a quicker response time because the volume of liquid will be less. Oppositely, if we increase the size of the thermometer bulb, we can expect our thermometer to have a slower response time because the volume of liquid will be more.